In normal times, it's important to keep your monthly expenses down. During a pandemic, it becomes essential to keep your monthly expenses down. Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Shear, and today I'm going to share with you three tips to help you minimize your expenses during the financial downturn currently caused by COVID-19. Let's get right into it. When I think of making cuts to my monthly expenses, I always start with the largest expenses first because those are the ones that are gonna have the greatest impact on my monthly budget. So that's exactly where I'm going to start here. Your largest monthly expense is most likely your rent or mortgage payment. While it's unlikely you can get either of these expenses reduced, it definitely doesn't hurt to ask. If you're renting, your landlord might offer to defer some of your rent payment or even reduce your rent for a short period of time. If you're in a position where you cannot afford your mortgage payment, your lender may be willing to work with you to defer payments. All you need to do is start that conversation and see where it takes you. If you have credit card payments, you can call your credit card company and ask for a reduction in your interest rate or in your monthly minimum payments. Tell them you just can't afford the payments right now because of the pandemic and ask what they can do for you. If you have car insurance and aren't really driving anywhere due to stay at home restrictions, call your car insurance company and let them know. They might be willing to reduce your monthly premium since you're not on the road as much. Do this with each of your big monthly expenses. You might be surprised, asking could potentially free up a few hundred dollars per month. Next up is to cut down on those non-essential purchases. If you don't have an abundance of cash on hand, you should probably avoid spending on things like new clothes, new furniture, and new electronics, at least until the uncertainty of the pandemic has passed. Are you subscribing to any services that you don't really use? Maybe you're paying for a monthly subscription box that you could live without for a little while until things stabilize. Or maybe you're signed up for both Hulu and Netflix, but you've only been using one of them recently. Or maybe you're like me and you haven't been shaving as much as you normally would. Go ahead and pause that razor blade subscription. And what about when you take a trip to the grocery store? Save some money by trying the generic store brands rather than the big name brands for your basic items. Maybe you can opt for a less expensive bottle of wine or a cut of beef. All of these little decisions to cut back on non-essential purchases will add up to make a big difference. My final tip for minimizing expenses while you're at home is to bust out the frying pan and do some good old home cooking. Don't get me wrong, I am all for supporting local restaurants, but if you don't have a huge financial cushion right now, it's more prudent for you to cut back on your restaurant spending. If you're unemployed, working reduced hours, or even just working from home, you probably have some extra time in your hands that you wouldn't normally have. Use that time to plan and prepare dinners for yourself and your family, rather than ordering takeout or delivery. If you're currently dining out several times per week, cooking at home can literally save you hundreds of dollars every month. Millions of people out there are experiencing tighter than normal monthly budgets right now. With some smart thinking, you can cut your expenses and get your spending more in line with your income. What are you doing to keep your spending to a minimum? Comment below and let me know. I'll be back here next week with the final episode in this three-part series on making the most of your time at home. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you get notified when the episode is posted. Stay safe and I'll see you then.